Welcome to a brand new podcast once again, and this is the Oracle 19, as you know, and I am greatness, and again, we roll on along, new day, new beginning, again, much Thanks to all of y'all guys and ladies, of course, that is supporting the machine. And the ones that is not and interested to support the machine, you can go to our social media here, the Oracle 19, which is anchor.fm or Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, and much, much more, but those are the basics, you can go, and uh, you can search for those platforms, and there in the description boxes of those platforms, you can uh, support, it's in a free will offering, or if you can't find it there for some reason, you can go and just email evolutionoflondon at gmail.com, once again, Evolution of London at gmail.com and you can send your free will offerings or contributions to the email again support like subscribe pass this information along men women women men kids y'all guys could do me that favor especially y'all guys from the old neighborhood you know who y'all are Support the machine. Spread the information out. Family, friends, and foe. And uh, again, I definitely would appreciate that. we all over pretty much throughout North America and, and Europe. And we are uh, spreading. Go to our YouTube channel, Greatness19. Greatness19. And there you can also subscribe to the channel as well. Definitely don't be shy. So check out the videos. We almost have a, we almost had a hundred videos right now. It's getting close on our YouTube. So we we rolling along. But subscribe to the channel and like the channel too. So it costs nothing. It's free to subscribe and it's free to like. Also, our second channel, which is Mr. Evolution of London, is our health and wellness channel. Definitely support it. Definitely check that out. We have a few videos on there, but we're growing every week. So definitely subscribe to the channel just on health and wellness. Products, uh, healthy products and essential oils, things like that, that will help you and you can and your family as well. So definitely look into that. And uh, also, definitely, you don't want to send a donation. Well, at least shop at the shop on the channel here. We have two websites it's just for you, and it's delicious, scrumptious www.evolutionoflondon.com Once again, www.evolutionoflondon.com There, that's our baby shopping mall where we have a wide range of products. Men's, ladies, kids' clothes, perfume, cologne, uh, house products as well, just to name a few. So you definitely, definitely check that out. And again, Pass the information along. If you don't want to shop on the channel, at least do your due diligence and and pass the information. It costs nothing. You can 
pass the word through word of mouth or email or social media. Put my platform on social media and support. Again, it's free. Also, our second email is our digital uh, products we have on there, which is definitely nice. And that's www.evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. Once again, evolutionoflondon.org. So you definitely could look into that as well. And if any uh, business or sponsorship that you want to put your merch or brand on this platform, send me an email, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com, and then we can, we can talk some business. Again, uh, one of our sponsors, Mr. Will, you can check out his platform. Yeah, he's a fitness consultant. You can email him at, email him at willysfitness99 at gmail.com. Once again, that's willys, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And also, he have a website as well, which is www.wjaaccessories.com. Again, www.wjaaccessories.com. He have different merch there as well. Pretty much uh, different merch every week. So definitely uh, check him out as well. And I pretty much covered everything. Whatever I didn't cover, you definitely can check out in our description box. Again, anchor.fm, Google, Apple, iTunes, and like I said, YouTube as well. So subscribe and support, like, you know the deal. Now today's episode, it's going to hurt some feelings, but it is what it is. It's my perspective. Just your turn. This is for the men. Just your turn. And what do I mean by that? Basically, guys, especially you young men, and I'm targeting targeting your young men. Because again, us older men, we we finish. It is what it is, good or bad, up and down. But the young men, don't put your stock in these modern day females. You heard this through social media, I'm sure. But just in case you don't understand it, you hear from me. A lot of y'all dudes, y'all, y'all simp too much. Y'all be tricking too much tricking off of these whores, these Jezebels, skanks, everything else under the sun. You, you guys, it's wasting your time. Deal with your purpose. Again, whether you, even if it was your wife, girlfriend, not saying they whores now, but most modern day females are. And you cannot put stock into them. Okay, because in this day and time, the modern day female, there's no accountability. She's reckless with her mouth, her behavior, how how she treats you. Now I break that down. A lot of y'all men can't even get your woman to cook and clean in her house. Not in your house. Same for y'all guys that is girlfriend and boyfriend. In her house, she don't cook and clean. So what make you think she's going to cook and clean for you when y'all live together? Now, again... 
just because she have a big behind or big breast disease. Don't let that phase And certainly don't let get her pregnant. Because you know, guys, the laws that is out here. Trust me. The laws out here is not in your favor. So you have to guard yourself. It's not like the generation, young men, of the past. Where men, first there was less cameras, no social media, more direct interaction with women. The laws was different. I know y'all young men want to understand that, but I'm just giving you the play-by-play. So, men of the past had more flexibility. More room to do things. Not saying good or bad, up and down. Y'all figure it out. But in this day and time, men, it's very dangerous for y'all guys. Even socializing with the modern day female. Now to get deeper with that, when you're dealing with a female that has a bad attitude and unruly, undisciplined, have no accountability, accountability for her actions, and you deal with that type of woman, you get caught up in a situation and an argument, just an argument. Your career, your livelihood could be ruined. And guess what? Just like it was your turn when she goes on to the next dude, which she will, it'd be the same thing because she's undisciplined. See, so you have to be careful, young men. You can't be just slaying everything out here. It's a, it's a different world, as you know. And again, I hate to see y'all guys get caught up, y'all new guys, fresh in the world, get caught up in situations where now you have to deal with police and court. And then you have a job and now it's lost because of this modern day female, which is your mortal enemy. And let me say that again. She is your mortal enemy. That's what it is. And it's again, that's even for men in general of any age, even if you with a woman for a certain point and because again, people is people. People change up on you. And even if she changed up on you, you guys have to come to certain conclusions in life. It is what it is. Because we're dealing with this modern world out here where you don't have the advantage. The system is going to go for the woman all day. She can lie, she can cheat, she can do everything against you, and it's going to be believable. As you know, y'all heard this before, but she could even say, you raped her. We heard that before. And guess what? Now you're going to jail. Now, potentially, you got to spend thousands of dollars in court fees to maintain your freedom. And you potentially can you lose your job. So you, lo- you lose your job, your money, your character, everything for this modern day female that you just rolled in the hay with because she have big breast disease. Big butt. Was that worth it? Is that worth it? You have to really look at it, guys. This is a mental war out here. And especially you black men. You definitely should know. If you don't know, you better know now. Because black men, you are enemy to the state. And the state is looking for anything they could put charges on you. And they will use your 
own to do that. Clearly, that's not all now. And just for the record, you have a lot of great black women out here. Just, and it's not all black women. And I'm not even touching with black women. All women of all races, especially in North America. Once they land in North America, they t- and they take, the, take on those ideologies of Western society, it doesn't matter who they are. Because within the white community, they have the problems just as great as the black community. So let's get that straight. So let's not for one second put on the black community. So let's make that caveat right right front and center. Because when you go to the courts, you see all race, you see a lot of white men suffering in silence. So when I'm saying modern day women, this is all women, especially in North America. Guys have to be, and that really, especially you young men, y'all guys better be careful. You have to do like, you have to screen these, these women like how the, if you're going to take a government exam, if you're trying to be a police officer or some type of federal agent, they screen you, you got to screen these women just the same. Because it's a character. It's a character flaw that is in growing more and more in North America. Where the modern day female is your enemy. It is what it is. So you have to be careful. I stress that. Your modern day female... I already mentioned, have no skills, no domestic skills, no social skills, cannot hold a conversation, nothing to bring to the table, have no purpose in life, undisciplined, as I mentioned, unruly, wild. Mentally disturbed. Because that's wrong. Bisexual or trisexual. She don't know she's a woman, man, dog, whatever. Confused. This is your modern day female. So after you have intercourse, just know. Sorry to break the, this bad news to you guys. But you're on the clock. And it's just your turn. It's like you're on the train. For all y'all New Yorkers. And you will know this. Like you're on the A train. And you stop at a point in Skimmerhorn. And once you get off, it'd be another stop. Now, I'm being a little facetious here. My point is, once you you with her and then she don't like you no more or for whatever reason, you think you're going to be the only one? Of course not. I had an episode I had called Calculations. You guys need to check that out. Calculations. And I break down... My perspective of the reality of the modern day female. They go through so many different men and meeting them at the club. And they meeting three and four dudes a night at the club. Now, this is pre-pandemic, of course, but it'll be the same thing. You're not going to be the only one. These females have more sexual partners than you do, men. This is the reality. Matter of fact, statistically, women is more sexually active in North America than than guys. Look that up. 
national census. You go into the websites, go and Google it. Type it in. That breaks, breaks down just sexual partners, how females is. And you and matter of fact, even beyond the the information that you can research, but just use your third eye. Go into any big city and see how females is, is rolling along. They bouncing from partners to partners, wilding out, no regards. And then guys, especially young men, have to worry about diseases. You always did even in the back in the days, but now there's more diseases that you have to worry about. And again, that is, and then hygiene, which is that equates with the getting diseases, of course. But the poor hygiene of of a lot of modern day women has gone down because of their mental illness. Don't y'all guys, y'all know. Females don't, poor hygiene, armpit smell, vagina smells, they don't properly wash themselves. Yeah, this is real. I know you guys know about it or heard stories or even been involved with females like that. It's part of the game when you're out here in these streets. You're going to run into that. But more and more of these females have mental illnesses and they're, they're, they have their hygiene has deteriorated. They don't even know how to properly wipe themselves. They don't know how to properly soak themselves in the tub, properly use certain products to soak themselves. Certain ingredients you could put in your bathtub, like lemon and and lemon juice, a couple of drops of that to, to balance your pH. And then their diet. They eat hard foods, and that also can ha- bring out that uh, the odors throughout your pores. And then you have females that don't wear underwear, and you know women leak. Not to get graphic, but they do, and they have to have should have panty liners, so forth to guard themselves but you got females that's wilding out they they don't wear nothing or they wear thongs in the summertime so tight and then with tight and then rolling around with tights think about it guys you got these women here have tights and in the summertime people get they get sweaty that's natural question yourself when you see these women with tights are they clean or not just because they look good in it but these is tights your body's supposed to breathe but these women out here is rolling in tights and stuff all day now not working out just rolling around all day and then they come to you. Then what? Have you ever thought about it, guys? How clean are they with their tights, super tights, that they rolling around in the hot summer day? Guys, you can't be thirsty anymore. Because you got to not only protect your physical, but you got to protect your mental. Because these females is is crazy. And then when you have sex with them, that energy, if you're not careful, goes into you, if you believe in energy. And then that female could potentially do bodily harm to you because she's thinking one thing and you thinking another, it's just smash and go. But she's thinking about 
coming at you because she believes in her heart. You are for her. Forever. Remember the movie, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate? Martin Lawrence? If you didn't see it, you should watch that movie. You got those type of females. And a lot of them out here. Because mental illness out here, guys, just in case you don't know, is real. So, she's just your turn. And then these females, after they have sex with you, they on to the next dude anyway. And then also you have these single moms that have a bunch of fresh toddlers waiting for you. And they have the nerve to say, I don't believe in polygamy. Wait a minute. You got three to four, five different baby daddies. But when that man want other women, you say no. But yet and still, you got two, three, and four different baby daddies. In theory, isn't that a a form of polygamy? Those three and four baby daddies are going to be around you forever, or at least for the next 18 to 21 years. So in the new man's life, he got to deal with those baby daddies that can always have the potential to have sex with that female. Yes, guys. No matter no matter how much a superhero you want to be, no matter how much you want to put on the Superman cape. Those other two and three and four baby daddies can still potentially have sex with your queen. Yes, I said it. Your queen. So the question you have to ask yourself, is it just your turn? So this is something y'all men need to come to grips with yourself and say oh the woman is God and the woman is queen and oh I love her and who are you loving your mama was a your mama was a queen and you should put her on a pedestal not necessarily suppose like I said your mother was a whore you give credit people we all make mistakes yes but if she was a whore, she was a whore. It's not like I would say, oh, God, she was a queen. She's a queen. And she was a bona fide whore. I'm just going to say that's my mother. I give credit. I still love her. Cool. And that's what it is. And as sh- long as she show herself now in a motherly type of world, I'm going to give her credit. But you got many women, out, many mothers out here is whores. Guys, the ones you haven't sex previously or currently... If it's, she's a single mom, she got children, what do you think she's doing? It's not, isn't that a case of uh, low-key ho- whoredom? The kid will grow up, you know, still love his mom, but... I mean, look, I, I know stories. I know stories. And... One of the stories, let me maybe take y'all guys to memory lane. I know dudes out here, and 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 I know y'all can relate to this. You go to a club, and after you finish going to a club, you call up a chick at night. And 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 group of guys go to a female's house tag team have sex with her and then leave I know stories like that and the woman have kids or kids single plural and she's good with that 
you know, how many stories, guys, you know of females let a whole bunch of dudes run trains on them? And, and this is not even a porn, a porn movie, but this is real life. And then after that, they move to a different neighborhood, a different town, different state, and marry some simp. I mean, this some lame. I mean, sorry, a regular dude, and they act like they brand new. How many stories y'all guys know, you know, or could relate, I should say? This is real. Females do it all the time. They wild out in one particular city, then go to another city and act like they brand new. This is this is reality, guys. And y'all need to face that reality. This is your modern day female. And and she having sex, let's say with she's let's say average 25, 30 years old and have sex with 30, 40 dudes. Her body is worn out. Now females don't like to hear that. And they will say, well, men could have it, men could do this, so can I. But yeah, but your body is worn out. Your value is your body, your looks. Man's value is his money. And a lot of times these females, and which is crazy, even my mother say this, these females is 30 years old, they look like they're 50. My sister even told me that. These females is worn out, and they only 25, 30. Their bodies is like, of a 50 year old but yet and still they think they the prize guys it's just your turn that's the reality and then with the heavy smoking and the heavy the weed and and the cause you know I, I'm not I'm anti marijuana personally but especially with females females that smoking and and hard smoking and hard drinking and popping pills and all of that stuff, you don't think it will affect their body? Their body is just worn out. Their mind is worn out. And especially they have fresh toddlers, that you not you not the you not the number one in their life anyway. Men, you thinking you gathering up a single mom, you going to be the number one on on her food chain? No, no guys. Especially if you're dealing with a single mom. You're not the number one man. You, you, you like the number five on the roster. Okay? Can you accept being the number five? <laughs> you marrying a chick? You going with her? With, with a bunch of toddlers? Or, or kids in general? You thinking you the number one? Do you really think you the number one? Uh, do you re- let me say this again? Do you really, really think you are the number one? Have you thought about it? Think about it. No, you are probably the number four or five on the roster. Uh, let me break this down. Let me give you an example. When you have a single mom out here wilding out, and or not in her mind when you meet in her and you want to put your cape on. Her kids, kid or kids, is going to be number one and two or three and four on the roster. Okay, right there. I just I just blew it out the water right there. If she got one kid, the one kid is going to be number one over you. If it's two kids, two kids is going to be over you. Can you handle that? If she got four kids, five kids, you are number five or six on her chart, on her roster of importance. All right? But let's say just for the sake of argument, she got one. So her one is definitely going to be on the roster over you. Her mammy or mother, sorry, will be over you. Her girlfriends, in a lot of cases, will be over you. God, which is not number one on the roster, because the kid is number one on the roster, God will be also 
number three or four on the roster over you. I can take, I can accept that personally. Personally, the Lord should be number one off of everyone. But that's a whole different religious story. But definitely, they'll put their children first, their mammy first, the second, the, the girlfriends third or fourth, whatever. Their dog or cat will be over you because you can't do nothing with their dog or cat. So their dog or cat will be over you. Is this all females? No. But most females, yes, in my opinion. So their job will be over you. <laughs> you. See how it's getting deeper, guys? This is just your turn. So by the time you finish in her life, you can you could you you might be number six, seven on the roster, but yeah, you number one in being the simp and pumping in money and and giving her money and stuff. She and you definitely can't deal with her children, chest size her children. And then the law also is over you as well. So you really low, guys. So all of that killing yourself for these modern females, you not number one on their chart. You're not number one on their roster. You not even number two on the average. So what the hell you you killing yourself for these modern females. They crazy, they undisciplined, they not clean, you're not even in their on their roster, they're number one. So what's the point? Why are you getting all catching all feelings? You deal with them accordingly like they deal with you. And you know, don't beat yourself up, men, that you have been in that situation or in the situation now. I'm giving you some game just in case you don't know. So you know how to prepare and do better. Because as long as you're able to wake up the next morning, you can always improve on yourself. You know, it is what it is. You have to be the leader. You have to be on your purpose first. You Power is everything. If you don't know, watch Scarface tell you get the money get the power get the power get then get the female you can go whichever order but that female is not above your purpose and power and position that's where things change in your life the money and the power within your circumference then you can go and you can meet that female and then that female is going to get with your program because if she don't you got 10 others that will throughout the world that will you got to be on your purpose like that because females come and go you think after you with a female for a certain time whether it's five years ten years you think she's not going to have another dude you think she's not going to meet another dude you don't think she's not going to have sex with another dude you don't think that you do you really think another it won't be another a new dude that be on the same bed that you was on Back in 78, 88, 98, 2008, 2018, even present. You think that you're going to be the only one, <laughs> dudes? You Do you really think so? Let me tell you a secret. Sorry, but you're not the only one. It's just your turn. Just your turn. And when you have that mindset, because after you... That's what it is. And look, here, here's another caveat in terms of checking these women. You know, when they start talking about... Now, again, this is a touchy subject, but this is just my opinion. When they start talking about and you with a woman and she's talking about actors that she would love and she would sleep with them if, you know, she infatuated and stuff and if she had an opportunity to be on, but then she justified and say, tell you, oh no, he's never going to be around me. So why are you tripping? Haven't you heard that before? And the analogy I have is, see, I look at it as a character situation. 
yes, that actor is not going to be around you. But let's say that person that looks like him is in your circumference. That shows me potentially you would give him play. Now, a lot of females don't think so. But guess what? It's a character thing. And, and I'm going to break this down. Let's say, for example, you're trying to get a, uh, a job at the, and becoming a police officer. And they ask you during an interview, would you rob a bank if you had to? They, well, they might ask you a question. If you had an opportunity to rob a bank and you needed the money, would you rob that bank? And if you say yes... You will not get become a police officer. Now, why is that? Because that's a character flaw. Because the police, the person within the police department that is interviewing you will say, will think automatically if this person had an opportunity to rob a bank under stressful circumstances, they will rob. So then their character, they, they not trustworthy people to work for NYPD. And I'm using that as an example. Because as you know, I'm, I'm NY, I'm born and raised. So that should be examples. Y'all men should be checking these women. When these women say, oh, when they see certain superstars and actors, oh, I love him and uh, he's so fine and they go overboard and then they say, oh, you know, if he was around me, you know, it'd be on. A lot of times females, they won't tell you, they tell their girlfriends. Sometimes you can get it out of them through certain questions. This is a character flaw, guys. Pay attention to the little signs. See, as you get older in time, you know, this is where you self-improve men. Pay attention to the little things. Because the little things will protect you from getting into the drama. See, these little things, I'm giving you game so you can understand. Even men that is currently in relationships, pay attention to the little signs. And then you could dictate if this woman is worthy for you or you have to pull back. You might can't tell her everything about you and how you roll. So this is this is important. A lot of times your men do not pay attention to the small details. Don't get me wrong. I was one of them myself. I've been through everything and any and everything, man. So I, I'm no different from you. I just try to improve. And unfortunately, I learned certain things later in life. I had to pay a price. It is what it is. But I tell y'all guys so you can improve and be better men. And especially you younger men. So you don't fall to the mistakes older fools have gone through. Because again, it's a cutthroat world. And like I said, it's only your turn. Just your turn. That's it. So when the time comes and that young lady departs from you, don't get emotional. Yeah, it's sad. Don't get me wrong. It hurts. Yes, it does. We're not machines here. But understand that these modern day females are your mortal enemy. And my man, Minister Jap, said German shepherds, which they are, in my opinion. So, again, y'all have to look at that reality. Don't be fools out here. Because you can lose everything young men and older men you could lose everything your character could be in question your money could be gone your lifestyle finished put in jail all because of this mortal enemy that you have in front of you that is just waiting 
just your turn. So, with that, stay strong, men. Y'all young men, I could keep going on and on. I could be spitting this game for two two hours straight without a bath, bathroom, ba- bathroom break. <laughs> um, but you get the picture. You know, you guys just have to pay attention to the small details. And that's that's really the nature of everything. Pay attention to the small details. And I, 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 I'm stressing that to y'all men out here. I really am because that's very important. Because as I mentioned, your whole livelihood can go down the toilet. Again, y'all guys have a blessed day. Stay positive. Enjoy life. Because you only have one. And you have one temple. Because you're only here for a season. So you need a reason to mentally stay strong. So, again, pass this information along. And, again, thank you for listening.